Hi apples and cherries, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day yesterday. We're going straight into another maths lesson looking at capacity. Now the unit for the week is to learn the language used to describe an object's capacity and to use this knowledge to solve some problems. Now our learning objective is to use language to describe capacity and we had a look at that yesterday and our success criteria is that we can explain what capacity is, we can use the language to describe an object's capacity and we can even solve capacity problems. Now yesterday we looked at the definition of capacity and in our reflection you had a go at explaining it to me. We also looked at some of the language that we can use to describe capacity, so full, empty, nearly full and other ones. So just a quick recap then on the definition. Capacity means how much fluid fits inside a container and fluid is like a liquid, so something like water. So how much water can fit inside a container? Before we start the rest of the lesson, we're just going to have a quick retrieval practice. So we're going to practice something that we learnt yesterday. And the question is, which milkshake shows half full? I'll read it again, so make sure you're listening. Which milkshake shows half full? Is it A, B or C? So which one is showing as half full? Have a look and make sure you say your answer out loud. Well done, it is C because the milkshake, so the fluid inside is halfway up the glass. So it's not near the top, it's not at the bottom, it's just halfway. So we could say it's half full. Well done. Now there is other language we can use when talking about capacity. And this language we can use to order things. So we've got least and smallest, and we've got most and biggest. Now I've grouped these, so there's a bit of a gap in the middle, because least and smallest basically mean the same thing, so it's the smallest amount of something. And most and biggest mean the same thing, so we're looking at the biggest amount of something. So here we have a look here at my glasses. I have put them in an order. And my order is the smallest or the least amount of water to the most or the biggest amount of water. So I've ordered the glasses by their capacity. So how much is inside the glass? So your task today is to do the exact same. You're going to have some magic potions that you've got to cut out and stick in order from the least amount inside to the most amount inside. Okay, so if we just have a look through together, can you point to the potion which has the least or the smallest amount of liquid inside? Well done, it would be this one here because there is no liquid in it at all. So it's got the smallest amount. Then which one would come next? Well done, it would be the orange one because that one is nearly empty. It's just got a little bit of liquid inside. Then what's going to come after the orange one? The green one, well done. And which one's going to come after the green one? The pinky one, well done, because it's nearly full. And that means that the yellow one is going to be last because it is full. So well done, we've just ordered the potions by their capacity. Now afterwards, you can have a go at making your own potions. Maybe you want to add in some food dye to make the potion a different colour. 
let's just reflect on what we've done today then. So we've again looked at explaining what capacity is and what it means. We've looked at language to describe an object's capacity and also language to describe the order of capacity. So least, smallest, most and biggest. And we are beginning to solve capacity problems. But again, we're going to be looking at this from tomorrow.